SPNN was uh, founded in uh, 1984. Um, we were founded originally as a public access and educational access TV station for the city of St. Paul. Um, and we taught the public, anybody and everybody, how to use the equipment and produce their shows and put them on our channels. Originally public access just meant access to those cameras and lights and mics and the channels, but as media has evolved, uh, we've redefined that to sort of mean access to any tool, communications or technology tool that um, helps a person or a community or a population uh, better their lives through telling stories or through getting access to, to things they need to participate in civic, educational or economic arenas. Well, I think the uh, key term we can point to as far as the value of SPNN within St. Paul is in its the title of its name, St. Paul Neighborhood Network. It is a way to become involved in your neighborhood and with your neighbors without having to go over and knock on their door and uh, insert yourself into their houses. I feel that they connect community through showing all the amazing things that are happening here in St. Paul. We sort of look at ourselves as the, the probably one of the most unique curators of culture, history, and politics um, here in St. Paul. So if there's a, a long-standing event or a, something that's, that's deep within our tradition, you can bet that Community Productions is going to be out there covering some portion of that. The other thing that Community Productions does is really work with nonprofits and community groups and local governments who don't have the capacity or, or resource to be able to tell their story. Our poets uh, and our spoken word performers read at the um, Black Dog Cafe, especially at the Lower Town Reading Jams, and SPNN films those 10 times a year. And normally, a spoken word performer or a poet would have maybe 100 people in the audience who would see their work, but when they're seen on SPNN, hundreds of people see their work. Sometimes thousands of people see their work. We're a non-commercial platform that is really an electronic green space for anyone in the community to be able to say, um, talk about their perspectives, their history, their culture, their background, their concerns. Um, it's rare that the public gets to be public very often these days. My favorite thing about SPNN is the public access staff. Uh, the equipment is certainly adequate for our needs, but it's the people that work here who are both very empathetic with what you're trying to accomplish and very professional in the way they conduct themselves that make it really an enjoyable process to come to SPNN to uh, tape a show. Any community group, individual, um, organization, church can come in and, and learn really how to make media. And that can be from the basic level, right? I, I want to go film the jazz fest that's happening in the park. So you're going to learn how to use that camera and use that editor and go out and film that and put it on the air. At the other end, it can be um, more of a deep exploration and uh, a longer process. So we have a program called DocU, which is a documentary um, mentorship program where folks come in for several weeks and they work on a specific project. So they come in and propose a project, so they, they have to have something in mind. Um, they don't pay anything, we actually give them a stipend and we mentor them through the process of learning how to tell a story. So from the very basics of just, you know, you got a story to tell, here's the camera go, to um, how can we really give you skills that will help you be a better storyteller, learn technology and communications in a way that's transferable to all kinds of other aspects of your life. My name is Lisa Peterson de la Cueva and I'm a coordinator with the Community Technology Empowerment Project, which is an AmeriCorps program in the state of Minnesota. There's a big problem right now in the United States and one of the things that happens is that we think that everybody has access to computers now. We are ready. You have your mobile phone, you have your iPad. Um, there's, there's kind of this myth that the digital divide no longer exists and that's not true. We, the CTEP AmeriCorps members, are working with people all the time who have never touched a computer. I think one of the most valuable things about CTEP as a program is that we are based at a community organization and we're working with nonprofits and social service organizations who might not have the expertise in technology. And we like it that way. We want to be able to bring technology to 
places that are doing really amazing work already. SPNN's youth department, we connect with about 250 to 350 youth a year, and that's either here at our facilities or out and about in the community at rec centers and libraries. We have a number of different um, youth um, programs here at SPNN. We have the Set It Up program, which is an after-school program for teens to create a, um, a magazine format show around different issues that they, the, the youth decide on for the show. We also have um, a partnership with the St. Paul Public Libraries called Create Tech, um, where we work um, off-site in different neighborhoods to provide um, short workshops and um, project-based learning. And during the summer, we, we have a program called the Youth Intern Program, which is a um, seven-week paid internship opportunity for low-income youth to create documentaries about issues affecting their communities. Creating makes me feel like I'm alive, so just this place gave me an opportunity to create, whether it be film or like a flyer or music, it makes me feel good about, <clears throat> it makes me feel like I'm affecting the world and my community around me somehow. I think what's important for folks to realize is that organizations like St. Paul Neighborhood Network are, are far and few between, and St. Paul is uh, blessed to have some, to have an organization like this. As the technology landscape gets more and more complicated as we get more and more channels, we get more and more ways to communicate. There's really only one, one person in our community that's going to help folks navigate that, understand that, um, and better their community, and that's St. Paul Neighborhood Network. So if you care about the work we do and you're, you're interested in supporting us, I, I encourage you to go to spnn.org and um, consider giving us a donation, consider volunteering your time, or uh, if you have a local business that would like some exposure, we'd love to give you um, some time on our channel to say thanks for supporting us.